You, a creative individual trying to develop an application. Whether you're writing some code, editing a video, or making a 3D model, there are many factors you may want to consider. Sometimes, when designing, we focus too much on the visuals in such a way where we design for ourselves rather than the user. Putting your personality into what you create is great, as long as it doesn't interfere with the user's journey. If you're on a computer, take a look at your mouse and keyboard. Think about how these tools evolved over the years. What has stayed the same? Why do you own this particular pair? Because of their color? Or because you like the way they feel? It could be both. But one thing is for sure, everybody wants to be comfortable. But what is comfort? Can you design something comfortable? The answer is yes, with a number of methods. Human-computer interactions can help you develop a more user-friendly interface and application. It's the study and collection of data based on human factors, focusing on designing cognitively for the users. All the senses, especially sound, sight, and touch, need to be considered. Measurements of users, how they identify, ensuring that your application is inclusive for various types of users is imperative to creating a more user-friendly experience. But how and when can you implement HCI? It may vary depending on the service or product you're developing. In this case, let's say you're developing a website. If you're an experienced designer, then you could probably go ahead and start coding. Otherwise, it can pay off to start doing some research. See what websites are popular. What are users currently used to? What's the layout like? The more familiar your interface is, the more comfortable the user feels. Fun fact, when a user interacts with an interface that does not feel natural, the size of their pupils change. During your research, you may notice that, for instance, bank sites all look alike. It might be worth looking into your industry. How does the leading brand have their web designed? When you're done inserting content and start adding colors, effects, font families, and font weights, it'll be important to do some research on color blindness and how users may perceive colors differently. Visual impairment is common and there are ways to design for this instance. Consider what colors you use when establishing important interactions. When you've got your site prepared, invite some participants to test your product or service. Survey them and see how you can improve your design. When we design, we typically have the user's interest in mind, but it's important to know that the user's interest is a part of the development itself.